Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, next video on uh, mobile repairing. Uh, right in front of you, you will see a black colored box and I am sure all of you are uh, already aware of what this equipment is. This is called an SMD. In this video, let us try and understand a little more about this SMD and very specifically how we can use this particular tool. We will also try and understand why this tool is required and what are some of the safety aspects that we need to keep in mind. Now, as you can see, this is an SMD. SMD stands for surface mount device. Essentially, this is a device that is used in placing or mounting components onto the PCB surface. That is the reason why this is called a surface mount device. It is also called a hot air gun. Now, there are two primary knobs in this. The first one is called is for the air and second one is the heater. Air and heater combined together gives you a very uh, hot blast of air through the nozzle and that is why this system is also called as hot air gun. Many a times, uh, the components that are placed in the mobile phones will require to be removed or replaced if they are faulty. In order to remove or replace them, you will need to melt the soldering that exists underneath the component and for that we use the hot air gun. Now, in order to operate this system, we will have to first switch on the main power by switching on the uh, main line. Once the main line is switched on, you will have the power flowing into the SMD. Once you switch on the main power, you can switch on the power on the system and you will see the red lights indicating that the system is on. The first indication is for the air, the second one is for the heater. So, air is uh, the first indicator. Now, each SMD will have a handle and a nozzle through which the air is uh, forced out. Now, as soon as you turn the air knob, you can hear the sound that the air makes it. So, in order to increase the air flow, you use the air knob. The second one is the heater knob, which will uh, heat up the element that uh, is present inside this uh, handle. A combination of heat and air gives you an outflow of hot air, which is used to melt the soldering underneath components or to place these components or replace these components. You need to choose the right point at which you need to place the air and the heater knob. Depending on the requirement, you can increase the air flow or increase the heating temperature using these two knobs. First of all, let us turn the air knob slightly open and increase the heater knob. It is always a trial and error. You will need to try and test out at what level the heating is appropriate for your uh, uh, component placement or component removal. So, you can keep adjusting it depending on your individual SMD. We have placed it at uh, point number 4. So, between 3 and 4 is usually ideal in most SMDs. But as we said earlier, you can choose which one would be ideal depending on the kind of work that you are doing. In case you are not able to take the component out of the PCB at a particular level, you can try increasing the heat to ensure that you are able to effectively remove or place components on the mobile PCB. So, please uh, exercise care and caution while you are choosing the correct heating amount on the SMD. So, once we have set the SMD at a particular level and we point the nozzle at the component that you need to remove and you can see the air flow, uh, heated air flow is uh, used to melt the soldering that exists underneath the component. Then you can use a tweezer to carefully hold the component while it is being melted and then remove the component from the PCB. Many a times if the soldering is really good, it is it may be difficult for you to take it out with the given heat and as mentioned earlier, you can increase the heat level slightly and that will allow you to remove the component very easily. As you can see, now the component is free now and the soldering has been melted and the component is out of the position. In order to place it back, you can uh, reheat the soldering underneath the component, place the component back on top and the soldering will 
ensure that the component is placed in its right position. Now, this is a, a work that will require extreme care and caution to ensure that you are placing the component exactly in the position that it is supposed to be in. A slight misalignment can result in the PCB malfunctioning. So, ensure that you are placing extreme care. Let us try doing it once again. As you can see, we just melted the soldering underneath and we can we removed the component from the plate. To place it back here, you try and heat up a little, place the component back on top and this should ensure that the component is placed. While you are placing these, ensure that your hands are in a comfortable position so that uh, the components are aligned in the right position. Uh, you may also need to uh, melt the soldering underneath the component to ensure that the component sticks on absolutely perfectly in its intended position. So, what we have tried doing now is to replace the component and uh, we are placing the SMD on top to ensure that the placement is accurate and is strong. So, one of the essential things that you must understand while using SMD is that SMD has a, a handle and inside this handle is where there is a heating coil. So, when you turn on the heater, the coil gets a lot more hotter depending on what level you have kept the knob in. Once the coil heats up, the air is released from inside. Once the air comes out, it carries the entire heat with it and exits the nozzle. And when you place the nozzle, the air comes out with extreme pressure and that pressure can ensure that the components are placed appropriately in the right position. So, a combination of uh, high heat and high pressure ensures that the components are placed appropriately and strongly in their intended positions. One of the advantages of using the hot air gun is that uh, it gives out hot air at a high pressure and you can always keep changing these nozzles. There are different nozzle sizes that are available. So, depending on the size of the component, you can choose different nozzles and therefore, can use it appropriately in removing or placing components on a PCB. Let us also try and understand what are some of the safety elements that we need to keep in mind while we are working with the SMD. First thing is, whenever you are using the SMD or when you are starting off the SMD, please ensure that there are no um, components that could be flammable or any components that could melt due to the heat that is uh, released by the handle of the SMD. So, ensure that you keep any such stuff away from the SMD. Second thing, whenever you are not using the gun or the hot air gun or SMD, please ensure that the handle is placed on the stand because leaving it aside can cause safety concerns. Third thing, Whenever you are done with using the SMD, also ensure that you turn the knobs down so that uh, the SMD is not unnecessarily utilized. So, you can turn off the air and the heater option to ensure that the SMD is not unnecessarily used. Now, while you are using the SMD also, ensure that there are no melting or substances that could get affected because of the hot air. Also ensure that the hot air is directed at the right component and not at any other component because this can spoil the PCB and can also impact the other components on the PCB. You must also remember that the PCB has to be placed on a stand very clearly while you are working on the SMD. A stand is essential because it holds the PCB tightly in its position and therefore will not allow it to move here or there while you are working on the SMD. In case you leave the PCB down and you are working on it and you are trying to place or remove components, the movement of the PCB can result in misalignment of these components. So, whenever you need to work with an SMD, it is important to ensure that you place the PCB on the PCB stand. The PCB stand is a very simple tool, we have already seen about it earlier. On one end is a fixed uh, uh, part and on the other end you will have a, a slot, uh, 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 a lever which basically has a spring which can be pushed back and forth depending on the size of the PCB. So, you can push it back and forth as per the size and this spring ensures that the PCB is held tightly in its position. Once the PCB is tightly held in its position, just as you see on the screen, 
Now it is uh, very easy to work on this components will not move here and there because of the misalignment or um, of the movement of the PCB. So, there are no chances of misalignment. One more advantage is that when you keep the PCB in hand it can uh, hurt your hand in case if you are using the hot air gun at that time. Hence, it is important to always place the PCB on a PCB stand while working with an SMD or a hot air gun. This will ensure that your hands are not hurt or burnt while you are working with the hot air gun. So, in this video, we understood what is an SMD, what are the parts of an SMD and how we need to use the SMD to place or remove components from a printed circuit board. Let us keep learning going forward. Thank you very much.